Hello guys and welcome to another Adventure Story Channel video. I'd like to thank you that you are watching my videos and you are stay tuned. It's very important in our community to have a good communication and today I'd like to thank you one of my friends in this in community. He sent me some pictures. Everybody who sent pictures asking any questions, he's a part of this channel and this community and today we will talk some of the photos which he sent me and he have also some questions it is very nice to have questions if you have questions this means that you are interested that you are looking for something and very important is to answer these questions and to have a better idea how a system works how it is it and let's go quickly to find it okay let's start first of all here uh, as i see this picture here i see some colors okay on the valves here on the pipes uh, and uh, we will talk probably and for sure this is a boil cooling system okay and this is here it's a boil heat exchanger okay the boil cooling heat exchanger more more, more pro proper okay and here this is some isolating valves inlet and outlet valves some bypass valve and here as you can see this is probably for main engine okay cooling of oil a heat exchanger here we have a filter and here probably it's automatic filter make sure that uh, you will correct me my friend after this video okay uh, as the oil flow is indicated from here from this label okay uh, just have in mind that some of them uh, from the yard they can put mistake a uh, different side I have found that okay uh, just remember that and we have here butterfly valves butterfly valves as you know they move uh, one piece of metal inside and they close or open and the ceiling obtained in this rubber ring around okay here inside so uh, there is inlet and outlet of oil and from the other side the cooling is obtained by low temperature water okay and we have pressure indicators here we have temperature indication inlet and outlet pressure indicators inlet outlet and we have heat plate heat exchanger okay as you can see here from the one side passing water from the other oil and with this design of heat exchangers we can achieve better cooling performance uh, and transfer of heat from one liquid to another also all the informations all technical informations you need it's right in here in this label in the middle okay next we will talk for this device and this is one of the most important device we have here okay this is the most complicated device and have a lot of parts a lot of um, actuators and also controllers this is three-way valve which the main purpose of this valve is to send the water from one direction or another okay there is a three-way valve and three-way float of the liquid and as I can see here in this image okay we will go closer let's look okay here is the three-way valve okay this is the connections here and if for some reason okay this three-way valve goes off and it's not working just remember the position you need to have in standby or in full away okay or in maneuvering uh, it's a good practice to watch this position when it's on standby when it's on maneuvering okay 
and when it's uh, finished with the engine full away to see where it's adjusted if for some reason it's go off you will need to operate manual and to operate manual as you can see there is a lock device here you take out this one and it disconnects from this actuator okay also maybe you will need to shut down the air supply here so this piston to be easy moved okay and next you can set here there is a dial gauge here and there is some points there is like a ruler which have the indication how much percent it's open and uh, where the water is sent okay bypass or uh, in cooler okay also here very good practice is to remember the pressures here or to put any marks to have in mind in what pressure working this actuator but anyway if you don't remember that there is a label here which indicates exactly the pressure or the working pressure and everything what you need to adjust and fluctuates in the pressures okay so uh, next question is how this system is working okay some of the systems uh, and I have find a good a good page okay I have it here and we have some of different system we can have a electric system which is uh, set from one temperature probe we have the temperature controller and we have this uh, valve which is electrically operated by the controller okay and here we have a quick description this is how they can look like this is from another uh, manufacturer a mod and i have seen different kind of three wheel valves you can find whatever you imagine uh, there is different uh, designs different techniques uh, different kind of systems but this is one you will find maybe in 70 percent or 60 percent of the ships on board okay and this is how they work okay and i will read something from here okay the electric valve system incorporates the use of an electrically actuated three-way valve control with a electronic controller okay this is the controller from there you can set exactly uh, the temperature which you like on your system okay you can set uh, exactly where your system uh, must be the temperature okay we talk about and also the fluctuations how quickly will response in your uh, set of temperature okay and there is an electrical actuator which actuates as you can see there is electrical motor driving a warm tap gear and this uh, gearbox prevent reverse drive due to fluid forces this is very important and this kind of system it's very good and very strong and as you can see we talk about this one and if for some reason there is a problem you can take it in manual using that hand you switch off the electric system the supply from electric motor and you can use it by manual okay you can have your uh, radio one person is inside the control or maybe you will have some local dial on uh, your engine and you will look and set but be careful when you use in manual it's better to slowly load up your engine and adjust your cooling temperatures so do not stress your jackets okay in, in the big engines as we know and next uh, we can see also that there is ip65 enclosure protection this is a good isolation 
from the water the different liquids okay and next we have pneumatic system which uh, there is a temperature controller sensor okay there is a pneumatic controller and this pneumatic will transfer to a actuator as we can see here this is the actuator the pneumatic signal will arrive here and depends from the set point we have will give a accurate signal to open or to close this piston okay so uh, this system the pneumatic system is ideal where is a lack of electricity okay when a fail system a fail safe system is needed okay or a hazardous area installation and hazardous area what we mean maybe there is uh, some kind of gases okay some kind of fuels different uh, spaces uh, difficult hazardous areas we will use pneumatic system and we like that to avoid any spark any kind of static electricism as you know okay and uh, next we will move to a electro pneumatic system okay which is combines both electric and pneumatic technology okay and there is a signal okay the probe sends a resistance signal to a electronic controller which turns which in turn sends a 4 to 20 milliampere signal to a ip controller that converts this to a pneumatic signal okay and uh, 4 to 20 milliampere means 4 maybe it's 0 and 20 milliampere is 100 percent in that kind of valve the set point and applications as you can see here it's lubricant oil temperature control to control okay to jacket water cooling air charge temperature control okay also for cooling of uh, air cooler okay central cooling seawater cooling and we have also specifications we have all the details whatever we need and this is how this system works and we will move to another picture there is also we can see a better look to the system okay and as you can see here there is bypass indication as I told before and cooler and we know where the water is going more to bypass or cooler if the water goes to bypass that means our water temperature is cold and we need we don't need to cool down okay or lube oil whatever we have there so this is the system for jacket as i believe yes i can see here yes there is jacket water in we have pressure indicators here this is very important all pressure indicators and temperature work fine to not have any deviations and to have a good uh, better view this is the actuator our actuator with pressure gauges okay one is from supply and the other is from the actuator so let's move on to another picture this is the last picture we have let's make a zoom and this is our sensor here okay sensor probe the temperature and here we have a electro actuator electro pneumatic actuator as we can see in this here electro pneumatic system okay 
system combines future and functionality of a mod electronic control system with fail-safe action and hazardous area pneumatic benefits of pneumatically actuated valve. This is the pneumatically actuated valve here. Okay, let's make a zoom. We can see more clear. This is a pressure re regulator which we can adjust the pressures here. Most of the, this system, the problem, the most of uh, that one that I have seen is the seal here. After some years, it became hard and broke, okay? And there the leakage occur. So that is it guys, I hope you like this uh, video i wait your comments this is the basic description of the system okay i will try to make a video for nakakita system and how it works and i will try to prepare it i hope you like it guys stay tuned to adventure story channel check my previous videos i hope you like them stay tuned guys bye bye